Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello, if you're new to my YouTube channel, you're probably not. You're probably with me uh, since, since way back because we're OGs. Uh, we're friends like that. I'm currently working on a T530. Uh, and if you remember, I made a video on why the T530 is one of the best used laptops you can buy um, for its price in 2022, even though it's from 2011. Uh, the reason I say that is because it's easily repairable. It's easily upgradable and it's very reliable. So this thing is built like a tank. This is when Lenovo was still using IBM's design quality and their kind of like uh, schematics and shit. It's a really good laptop, okay? You know what's not really good? The new Lenovo ThinkPads. Why do I say that? I wanna show you why. So we teleported over here. Now, these older ThinkPads, right? This is an X1 Carbons. This is actually fairly new. It uses the yellow tip charger port. This charger port is modular, which means it can be replaced without having to replace the entire motherboard. This older Lenovo ThinkPad is the same way. The charger port is modular. This was good because when they would fail, they could be replaced without having to solder. These new ThinkPads are not good. I see charger port failure, USB-C failure all the time on these things. I'm telling you like once or twice a week, we'll get one of these in the shop and the USB charger port is just completely toast. It's cooked. And when I say cooked, I mean the fucking thing like burst into flames. I I've had a charger light on fire. I don't know why. I don't know why Lenovo decided to switch over to USB-C, but even worse, it's non-replaceable. It's soldered to the board. So it's not even like you can replace it without having to, to, to unsolder it. And these things, you have to think, th these are deployed by the hundreds in big companies. And of course, Barbara's gonna get up you know, to get her milkshake or whatever, and she doesn't realize that her computer's still plugged in, she's gonna rip the charger port out. That was fine with the old ones because you could just, two screws, it was replaceable, but now you have to solder this. And uh, sure, I'm gonna have the comments, some of you guys, you know, why don't you have a micro soldering station in, in your shop? You're not a real shop. I'm gonna fucking subway. All right, cut me some slack here. Okay, I'm not gonna solder stuff in a subway and have flux go into people's Italian fucking meatballs. But I just wanted to make it clear in this video that I am not a Lenovo fanboy. I am a man that has reason. I see good designs, I reward them, and I talk good about them, and I see shitty designs, and I talk shit about them. So this is a very shitty design. Uh, these ThinkPads suck. I hate these new ThinkPads. They're not good, they're flimsy, they're unreliable, they always have logic board problems. And the screens, you can actually, you can start to see it, but the keyboards indent into the screens, and it's no good. Um, they start to have marks, and then you have to replace the screen. All because Lenovo just doesn't put like a centimeter lip right here for whatever reason, who knows why. So these ThinkPads are not recommended. I don't think they're a good design. I don't recommend getting them. The new X1 Carbons are okay, but again, everything is, is, is fucking USB-C and none of it's replaceable. You have to solder everything. I'm so angry, I'm running out of breath. So that's all folks. That's a, that's a quick video of me uh, just ranting on why I don't think you should buy a new Lenovo ThinkPad, but you should still buy the older ones where you can replace the charger port if it ever breaks. Because it is.